psychopath is somebody who, as I've said before, is uh, without a conscience. Not because he doesn't have the intellectual uh, capacity to understand the difference between right and wrong. It's because the emotional connection with uh, cognitions, thoughts, and so forth is absent. Some of the characteristics would include this uh, stunning lack of empathy, uh, lack of concern for other people, uh, the ability to look at other people as mere objects. These are individuals who extremely, are extremely uh, egotistical, self-centered, uh, lacking remorse for what they have done, knowing exactly what they're doing, and what they're doing is manipulating and deceiving other people to their own ends. A lot of the psychopaths that I've known, and I've assessed over 160 of them, Um, a lot of the ones that I've known, they don't have an evil appearance or an e evil feel. They're they're out to con and manipulate you. So they're 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 charming. They're they're very charming, and um, and they come across as being extremely uh, easy to like. Most of them. What you see in the movie is the dark side of the personality. What you see when you actually interact with them is the mask that they're presenting with only a glimmer here and there of the dark side. And so if we learn from headlines and movies that psychopaths have this dark side and we go out looking for it, we're not going to see it. You cannot determine to what extent somebody might be psychopathic simply by looking at them even talking with this person for 5, 10, or 15, or 20 minutes. Sometimes it may even take six months or a year. And the problem is that we continue, uh, as a species, we're sort of programmed to do this, we continue to evaluate people the way they appear to us. We tend to be very forgiving in our interpersonal relationships with people. We're often open to their explanations and their rationalizations and we give forgiveness. We also, when building a relationship with people, believe that they are real. What a psychopath does is they weave a picture of a person that's really a dream. It's a spirit, it's not real. And you feel like you've discovered a soulmate, a deep intimacy and you're experiencing one of those rare fleeting moments that makes life worth living. And before you know it, you're involved in a deep personal bond with a psychopath. Once you're in that bond, we call it the psychopathic bond, you don't want to break it. And it often amazes the friends who are watching from outside, you're still with him, or you still believe what she said, or can't you see is very common, and they really can't see because of the strength of the bond that's been built. Now, when the psychopath is done with you, they leave. They've never had a bond with you. It's all been a game. And so they just stop playing and move on to the next target. You're left with all these open wounds because you thought you had a relationship with this person. And it could be a business relationship, it could be a business partner, it could be somebody who you're married to, a, a, a personal relationship, it could be a family member. And when it breaks, it hurts. And that's the psychological and emotional abuse that a psychopath, feeling no empathy, no remorse or no guilt, just moves on to the next target.